Alright, and welcome to this random video I'm doing. i am decided to just start talking about things, so I'm going to talk about this. As you can see, I brought up the Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition Steam Store page, and I just want to talk about they have a release date. Yes, I know I'm like four days late on announcing this, but I'm not exactly like the number one source. Spirit of the Law got you already, so I just want to give my opinion on the new game that's going to come out. First thoughts, based on what we do have for information currently. As you can see, it's coming out November 14th. Now, this may not be official, as they may pull it back another four months, as Spirit of Law said in his video, because you want to make sure the game is of better quality and not just thrown out there for a cash grab. And yeah, it celebrates the 20th anniversary. 4K graphics, that's great. I mean, it looks good. But I mean... Mods sort of do this, but not as well, I imagine. I haven't been able to play the beta, so I can't really say. So, yeah. It's going to be brand new content. The Last Cons. Is that with three new campaigns? Four new civs. I don't know what the Last Cons is. Is that like all the campaigns? It's just the Last Cons? Like, I think the one of the civs is supposed to be the Bulgars, but don't hold me to that. I didn't do a lot of research. I know there's, I know the Bulgars were supposed to be one of the four civs. Three new campaigns, that's great. I'll probably be playing those as soon as this comes out. Try and get those videos as up as, up as quickly as possible. And of course, new civs are great. It's always good to have new civs. Except, well, some are more useful than others for certain players. <coughs> Rise of the Rajas. I don't use any elephants, so that's why I do not like that. Those civs. The expansion was okay. I didn't mind the expansion. And now the new stuff, that was great. The civs, I'll never use them, I'll be honest. Just for the campaigns. That's the only time I'll ever play them, legit. Unless I'm playing random and it's like, four sleep bestowed upon me and then I have to use it in a random map game with my buddies or something like that but I'm not a professional player and I'm not great with battle elephants or ballista elephants so I'm never gonna use it that's that rant out of the way so yeah they should just take their time and not rush through this because we don't want another forgotten empires like DLC type thing because that was absolutely atrocious I get it it was a community mod made by random people and they just stole it basically I don't know if they actually stole it they probably were just like hey can we have this and it's like yeah and then they used it and it was pretty dismal compared to like anything that came after at least they learned from that and I'm hoping they took all the knowledge from all their mistakes and put it into this definitive edition right here. You know what I mean? Because this has the potential to be real good. I mean, it's not Age of Empires 4 hype, but that's a few years away. And uh, it's not even on the radar, in my opinion. And they should just take their sweet time with that game. I don't want a trash game if I'm going to wait like a while. Take your time. Do it properly. And uh, it'll be interesting what they do with Age of Empires 4 as well. But as for this... Oh god, Forgotten Empires was uh, involved in this. I'm pretty sure they've been involved the entire time though. So yeah, it should be interesting. 20th anniversary. That's why they're doing this. They're trying to get on the cash grab here. Since 1999. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm old. I was one year old then. So, yeah. Not much system requirements. It's easy to run by the looks of it. So, Steam players get a little discount. Yes, we know it's coming November 14th. 
pre-purchase it. It's $22. You can also get it in a bundle. Age of Empires. Definitive Edition as well. If you so decide. It's also a bundle for... Uh, it looks like the Definitive Edition and the HD. Just the original 2013. Okay. Why would I ever get this if I can just get, like, a free thing of the 2013 edition? I wonder if the Age of Empires thing has, uh, has tanked. No, it's still $22. I imagine that will go down a little bit when the Definitive Edition comes out, but we'll see. What up? Oh, yeah, it has cross-platform. I nearly forgot about that. That'll be interesting. I don't know how important that is. Guess people buy it from the Windows Store as well. But anyway, yeah, it should be interesting. November 14, folks, 2019. Remember that. And uh, remember if they pull it back, that they're just trying to fix things, hopefully. And make sure everything runs smoothly. So don't get all angry when they pull back the release date. Because we just expect it now, okay? It happened with uh, Age of Empires 1, apparently. And I'm just expecting it to go to February. That's fine with me. I'll just keep playing the campaigns and talking about random stuff when we wait for the Definitive Edition to come out. But anyway, that's all I have to say for this video. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.